Alright, so on Instagram I posted a uh, before video asking where to start looking for information on this plane. And I think this might be a little longer for Instagram, so I'll post it on my second channel. But anyway, this is a bedrock, uh, bedrock number 608. And it was heavily rusted when I uh, got it. This isn't mine, this is my neighbor's. He let me uh, borrow it, I guess. And I asked him if he wouldn't mind if I cleaned it up a little bit. So he said no. And I thought about doing a full-on restoration, redoing the, the Japaning with some baked on uh, enamel. And uh, I just haven't gotten to it. Basically all I've done is remove the rust. So sides turned out rather nice, but the bottom is heavily pitted. Uh, not the end of the world, it's kind of like a corrugated plane now, and it, as long as this is flat, which it is, uh, it, it glides rather nice. So that's not that big of a deal. But how old is it? Uh, oh, actually, real quick, before I get into that, uh, I removed the rust with this stuff, Evapo Rust. When I did my last uh, plane restoration, a lot of people said, try this stuff instead of vinegar. So I did. And wow, it worked really, really well. I don't have a tote or a pan large enough for that plane, so what I did is made a tinfoil boat, and on the bottom of the boat on the inside, I put a couple brad nails to elevate the plane off the bottom, and then just filled it up with um, some of this evapo rust. Worked really, really well. Anyway, so how old is this thing? Um, this jointer? Well, according to antique-used-tools.com. I originally thought it was a Type 5 from 1911, but I do believe it's actually a Type 6, and the dates, I think this is a 1912 to 1913. So, on the Type 5, the beds are now marked with bedrock, so that's when this was introduced, where it says bedrock up here. In addition to the 600 numbers, and no B casting marks. I've looked over the entire body of the plane as well as the frog and I cannot find any B castings whatsoever. And of course there's a number 608 on the back side over here. Uh, this is when the uh, appearance of patent date April 2.95 and April 19.10 rear of the frog. Well I just put it back together and I wonder if it'll show up here. But it does say patent date April uh, 295 and April 19.10. It is right there. So everything is current to this type so far. Uh, raised knob receiver. I just put it back together, but inside here the, the receiver is raised quite a bit. And flat top sides. These sides are flat top. They're not a complete arched shape. What else? Frogs are now attached to the beds with pins and set screws. So there's your, it's not gonna show up. All right, there's your uh, pins and then the set screws down there to hold it in place. So inside these pins is a slightly elevated uh, cone shape on the side. So as the pin or as the screws are driven in, and they are cone shape on their tip, it pulls the pins down tight to uh, hold the frog to the bed. So that is accurate. And then the irons have TM, which is 4B in this diagram. So the irons should have this, which this one does. So on this side, I don't know if I can get the light to show the right way, but it does say Stanley uh, Rule and Level Company. And it says New Britain, and then the rest is gone. But it should say New Britain, Connecticut, USA. So this is the appropriate uh, iron for this model, or this type, type 5. And then tall knobs, and this, I don't know what the height is supposed to be, but that knob does feel awfully tall to me. So I originally thought it was the type 5 from 1911, however... The bedrock lever cap wasn't introduced until type 6. So lever caps are now marked bedrock, which this one is marked bedrock. So either, either the lever cap is from a slightly newer plane 
and the rest of the plane or joint or whatever, whatever you want to call it is from 1911 or it is from uh, the whole thing is from 1912 to 1913 because let's say this says 1912 to 21 is type 6 but I think it stops at 13 because in 1914 the blade is changed to let's see 6B the blade is changed to this orientation which this this is incorrect the blade is actually this one at 4B and of course there are some other changes here to uh, these these two so this leads me to believe that this whole plane is a type 6 from 1912 or 1913 before the introduction of this one from 1914 the change in the uh, blade so yeah I think that's what it is um, I don't see any other changes in this documentation that would suggest oh yes yes it has to stop at this one it cannot be a type 6a in 1922 because the frog adjustment wheel is larger at one and one quarter of an inch in diameter and this one is not this one is one inch in diameter so it's definitely not from 22 so it is a I'm guessing a type 6 from 1912 to 1913 but anyway, thanks for the uh, information on Instagram of where to look, and I very much appreciate it.